Live here, uh, talking about Dead Star. Now, I just had a, a few minutes to play this, and it is fantastic. It's got MOBA-esque elements, um, a lot of just ship-to-ship -ship combat. It is a lot of fun. So, kind of what was the, uh, you know, uh, inspiration for it all? Well, uh, I, I just, uh, there's a game called Subspace Continuum, and in Star Control 2, so there were these games that were top-down space shooter games yep. that we had played, like, I played a ton of when I was younger. And I hadn't seen a game like that for a long time, so uh, I came uh, to Armored Studios that kind of had a pitch like that. We worked on a pitch, uh, and we, but we wanted, we knew that if it was just that, it wasn't enough for these days, so we kind of took some modern genre <laughs> elements as well, and stacked on top of that arcade combat, a strategic uh, team-based mode, and it has a little mobile aspects. The MOBA that you mentioned is you level up your ships dynamically in the match, you have these like goals of capturing outposts and upgrading them and trying to kill the enemy base. So we wanted to add that strategic element on top of that. Okay. Okay, and so it's like uh, there are four different uh, races. Yeah. So how are they different or like, what makes them interesting? To... Yeah. We have the four different races, we kind of uh, model them off of like RPG classes effectively. So there'd be a, a thing that you could go, oh, well, I know that. So we have a fighter class. That All the ships in that class uh, are a little bit stronger, a little bit more damage output oriented, but a little bit slower overall. Uh, we have a rogue class, so they have, they're the fastest class in terms of movement base, but you can always upgrade every ship to be a little bit faster. Uh, but they have like teleports and cloaking devices and EMPs for fast damage. Uh, but they're a little weaker in their uh, shield and armor balance. We have a priest class, uh, so they have our heals and defensive probes and things like that. And then we have kind of like an engineer turret class, so they can drop mobile bases that their your units can spawn at. They can drop mines and turrets, and kind of, and then they have like drone units that fly with them. So those are the classes that, or races, and then each race has the three classes: our scout, they're small, fast ships, and they can capture bases faster. The raider, they can carry more war, so they're better at upgrading. And then the frigate classes powers are just more powerful combat. So. so what kind of um, the modes are going to be in the game? So the main mode you play today is our main mode. It's called Conquest Mode, and that's the mode where you're basically uh, going out to this procedurally generated region of space. So we build all these little sectors, and then we plug into them together in different layouts, uh, and you're trying to explore out there, capture the outposts that are in there, and then there's randomized content inside that. That's the main mode. So it's for team versus team, uh, base capture effectively, and expansion. But it's kind of got a battlefield ticket system that you're also going, where you're trying to get control of the super cannon below the other team. Nice. Um, okay. And then beyond that, we also have our kind of raid content mode. So when you play that mode, you can earn a ticket effectively. Uh, you get a contract to escort this gigantic capital ship on an escape run, trying to escape this prison space right. we all live in. And so it's a gigantic ship. It's as big as one of the sectors you saw. So it's about at least 100 times bigger than any other ship, right? And you fly your little escort ships around it and protect it. Uh, and what it does is it warps through space, kind of Battlestar Galactica style. It warps and it has to regenerate uh, the in energy for its warp drive. Sure. And while it's doing that, you have to protect Defend it. it yeah. and, but what it is, it's jumping into like AI sectors or and you know AI versus environment or whatever. But then it jumps into live player matches like that. So two oh, wow. teams will just be playing red versus blue, playing our like conquest mode. Show up. Giant ship, just a new sector appears with a ship inside of it, and they can choose to attack that uh, ship and earn really rare rewards. And then that yellow team is trying to just defend the ship from these two teams and jump out. Nice. And they, so each jump, they don't know where they're going. They don't know how big a match they're going into, yeah. what the layout's going to be. Maybe it'll be a, a comet storm with pirates in it instead of a player match. But that's kind of our other mode. So it's kind of a it's a raid into the player base. Oh, that's basically. fantastic. That's yeah. fantastic. Now, uh, when's it coming out and on what platforms? Uh, we're coming out. We're just saying uh, spring right now. Yeah. It's very. It's going to be very soon. Uh, within the next month or two. Nice. And then uh, we're on PS4 and PC Steam, and we're in beta right now. So if you pre-order on PS4 or Steam Early Access, you can play the beta right now. So you can go home and you can play it right now. Basically. Oh, that's I mean, fantastic. It's a full game. Basically, you have. Uh, we're releasing that capital ship mode, the escape run mode. That'll come a little bit later in the beta, um, but we might raid in before that. Be fantastic, uh, and yeah. So you might see that happen from the opposite side. But you can yeah, do leaderboards, you can earn um, recipe pieces to upgrade your ship, get pilot portraits, all the other uh, contents unlocked right Oh, now. that's fantastic. Yeah, all and right. it's crossplay also, so you can create PC and uh, to PS4. Oh, that's fabulous. All right, thank you so much. Thanks so much. Uh, it's us from PAX South. We'll see you next time. Thanks.